This guy's huge. Hello. Oh, good morning. I... Random antelope. Oh my god, there's so many. Finley, I know. Oh, did you hear about the accident? Yes, but I knew you before that. Oh, really? I consider it important to know who I'm working with. Oh, I see. I'm Benjamin Hallestein. And you're a surgeon? Surgical care, yes. I help wherever I can. Oh, he just walked off. Okay. Nothing over there. Oh, oh, no, no. I missed her. What is this guy? Uh, excuse me. What do you want? I wanted to introduce myself. I'm Finley. Wait, how did the antelope get to the right? What's going on here? I'm Finley, junior doctor on Internal Medicine 1. I just wanted to take the opportunity to say hello. Delighted, I'm sure. My name is Dr. Linwood, senior physician in surgery. Sorry, I'm very busy right now. Speak to Benjamin or Dr. Portobello. I'm sure they'll have some time to spare for you. <laughs> I don't know what accent that is. I have no idea what's going on. It's broken. Oh, there we go. Hospital stop surgeon. I'd love to sit in on one of his surgeries. I got the feeling that he wouldn't really like me looking over his shoulder. Hey, hi. I'm Lisa. Dr. Lisa Portobello. But just Lisa's fine. You haven't met yet, right? Oh, no. I'm pretty new here. Internal medicine on third, am I right? That's the one. Uh, how did you know? Let's just say we've heard of you. <laughs> oh, God. But I'm sure you'll be an asset to the team. Why did she follow that up with a but? We've heard of you, but I'm sure you'll be an asset. I feel like someone's been pooping on me, huh? Circuit breakers. We're going to need to use that at some point, aren't we? Sounds like a mini game to me. Now that what's her name Ingrid said that um make sure you know where things are oh are you the new junior doctor here uh no I work on the third floor oh that would have uh, been too easy huh never mind Renee can handle it Renee doesn't need a holiday or a night off let alone more money you've always got a lot on your hands here right oh no not at all I spent half my day in a spare bed watching my shows on the imaginary televisions Oh, they just great here. Anyway, I gotta go. Free time to fill fun. Free time to fill. Fun things to do. You understand. Bye. Hey, that's a little weird. Renee's just like, oh wait, her name is Renee. Did she refer to herself in the third person? Is that what happened? Oh damn! What's going on? She's running. Weird. Okay. I'm going to skip the third, go right to the fourth. And then we'll head uh, to our shift. Once I'm done searching the whole place. Oh my god, I can go in here too. It seems like these days could end up being fairly long. I don't know if I have to split all of them up into two or what. Two episodes, that is. Because I don't, I don't want to... If each day is like an hour and a half long, which it looks like it might be. That's a lot for one episode. God bless it. I missed the donkey. So we got a donkey on this floor, and we got this guy. Hey, you're Finley, right? I've seen you around on Internal 1. Oh, you're on our ward? Yeah, it's my ward too, normally. They've got me on flute duty right now, not enough staff. Oh. Yeah. I'm sure we'll bump into each other again later on. We've got to go for now. See you around, Finley. And there's the Stark guy. Hey, buddy, could you move out of the way? I'm a bit overloaded if you catch my drift. Oh, sure thing. Should you really be carrying that much at once? Never make two trips when one will do. If I start doing that, I might as well pack the whole thing in. Besides, I'm trying to build muscle right now. But the weight helps. Now anyway, I gotta get going. I can feel my knees starting to shake. That sounds like me bringing in groceries. Like, I don't even... My car, my trunk isn't actually that far from, like, my kitchen. I just gotta hop through my garage and it's right there. Yet, for whatever reason, I still insist on bringing all the groceries in on one trip. 
Strange how I haven't met Sandra yet. She's a nurse on my ward. She seems nice. Hey, talk to the donkey, okay? What is this guy? Wait, what is he? Greetings, my friend. Uh, hello, I'm Finley, and I... Uh... It's a bird of some sort. I thought... I wasn't sure if that, that gray part was his nose, and then he had, like, tentacles, but no, it's a beak, and he's got a little tuft of hair at the bottom. It's a bird. You're new here, and you work downstairs on the third floor, am I right? Y yeah, that's right. Your body language says a lot about you, young grasshopper. Uh, grasshopper? I'm Maurice, but most folks call me Dr. Maurice Guterra. Pleasure to have visiting us here on the Humble Board. I have great respect for Dr. Krakowski and everyone on Internal One. But you know, you're doing a great job. Well, thanks. I think the team works pretty well together. But a guy called Mateo. He said you taught him a few exercises once. He says hi. That's that's wonderful. Thank you, Finley. You've made my day even brighter. I feel thoughts and feelings interweaving. Cohesion, togetherness makes us strong. As senior physician for internal medicine too, I'm here to welcome you here. Put yourself at home and don't be shy about making friends with my staff. Oh, I will. I've gotta go now, though. Uh, not much of time to spare. Sorry. You do that, young grasshopper. And breathe. Always breathe. I don't, I don't have a problem breathing. You don't need to remind me. I'm good. Nothing over here. Oh. We'll check the fifth floor. I'm guessing it won't let me do anything on the fifth floor. It's still probably blocked off or whatever. But we'll check. You never know for these types of games. Yeah, nothing. Nada. All right, we'll go back to the third. Why do some of the why do the stairs have a brown outline until you get to like the last two up there? And then there's nothing. Oh, I know why. So look at they're, they're probably using the same image for each one of these stairs, and the top of them is blocked because you're going up in the foreground here. Background, you're going up that way. Foreground, you're going up this way. So these last two stairs don't really need the brown lining, but they didn't get a, a new one for this, so it just cuts off. I don't know if that's like a space saver, so they don't have to do two. I feel like you could have just done the whole thing like that. I don't know. One of the many small oversights would making a game, I suppose. Oh, Mia. Morning, Finley. Hope you have a good shift today. Oh, thanks. You too. Stomach's already growling. I was checking out the hospital a bit this morning. I forgot to have breakfast. What do you mean I stopped there? You're funny. Well, then I really hope you have a quiet one today. We'll see you later, Mia. Um, does that mean... I could go down there and, and get breakfast. Should I have checked back in there before I walked in here? I don't know. Nothing here. Who's that dude that was running around while I was talking to her? Uh oh. Good morning. Nice of you to turn up before sunset. Have you got your file for today yet? No, I'm afraid not. Well, let's deal with that right away. Some of the beds have already been reassigned. Your tasks for today have been activated on your app. What do we got? P31-30. Oh, we got new people. Look at, we got an old turtle. Among other things, we're looking after an old friend of mine today. She's in room P31. Uh-oh, that's a turtle. I gotta be careful not to screw that one up, huh? Please make sure she's looked after. Don't lose sight of your other responsibilities, okay? As always, I want to see impeccable results. Get to it. This guy right here. No? Okay. P31. It's right here. They're sending me to the back again. They're never in the... Oh. oh, Giuliano! What are you doing here? Finley, my friend! 
I brought my mother here this morning. May I introduce her? This is my mother, Irma. Good morning. Hello there. She collapsed on the sidewalk. Must have fainted or something. It's the first time this kind of thing's happened to her. So I figured we'd, be, we'd better get a specialist to check her out. Alright, well, I'll take a look. I'm not a specialist. What do you mean, game? You hear that, Ma? Billy hasn't lived in Porcupine long, but I know him. He's a good kid and a great doctor. Aren't I the lucky one? Was there anything else I could do, Finley? Can you tell me anything else about what's happened this morning? Oh, yeah, let's see. Me and Mom wanted to meet up for breakfast. She wanted to enjoy the sunny morning and go for a walk. She said it might be the last sunny day of the year. Not far, but she seemed very tired when I saw her. We didn't even have time to say hello properly before her legs gave way. Couldn't stop coughing. So we came straight here. Shame I was looking forward to that breakfast. I was really craving French toast with applesauce. A nice strong black coffee. Is that healthy for a turtle? I don't know. Well, thanks, Giuliano. I think that'll do for now. Take a look at Irma. Okay. I'm going to head off now. I'll be at Gilbert's. Let me know if you need anything, okay? I'll be fine, son. You should be worrying about that old pub of ours. I'll call you later. So who's Gilbert, then? I'd like that. Who is Gilbert, I wonder? Well, good morning, Miss De, De Calma. I'll go with De Calma. How are you feeling today? Please call me Irma. I'm not one to stand on the ceremony. Right, right, Irma. I'm Finley. That's a nice name. How are you feeling? My lungs hurt more than I've ever felt before. Yeah, that happens sometimes. You tell me again what happened this morning. I was on my way to see my son Giuliano. It was such a lovely morning. It felt like the last day of summer. Though I can already smell the fall. You smell it too. Yeah, me too. Trees are turning beautiful colors. After a few meters, my breathing got very heavy. Such a waste of a beautiful fall air. I didn't really enjoy it. My breathing got faster and faster. Just reached the marketplace when I started feeling very dizzy. I felt sick. My legs gave way and I fell down onto the sidewalk. I made an awful racket. The windows shook in all the houses. See, reminds me of a great story. Maybe that can wait for another day. I'm rather, I'm rather exhausted. All right, Irma. I'll let you get some rest, but I'd like to make a few more notes on the diagnosis. Well, of course. The sooner we find a solution, the sooner I can get hold of my French toast. Just sit tight. We'll have you out of here in no time. Find the correct combination of symbols. Is this the one I did in the demo? Yeah, okay, I know this one. Blue is I got... Let's just do it. this to start. Boom. Three of them. Okay. Um... But, and, all right, we may as well do this, right? Hand is in the right spot. Ooh, I only got one right before. So if I only got one right, that means heart is not in there because I got two hearts. I wonder if that would show two blues if, I, if, if heart was one of them. So that means the foot is correct. All right, so foot, let's put a foot here. Let's put the skull there. We'll keep the hand, and then we'll do the eye. Okay. So only one of these is right. The eye or the skull. Wait a minute. Oh, so skull is over here. Skull is right. That leaves this, which would be... What? No, not foot. What would it be? Stomach. Works. I got an A. I got an A! Huh. I see. What do you see? The symptoms are relatively clear. I think it's early stage pneumonia. Things don't seem so bad for now, but we'll keep uh, you here as a precaution. So it does seem a little weird... They're, they're talking in, like, vagueness and generalities, right? Because 
it's a game. You, you can't go into really specifics on diagnosing a disease, you know, unless th that's like the literal focus of the game, I suppose. But if you get too deep into it in a in a narrative game, then it, it could like derail things. So they keep it general, generalized and vague. And the problem with that is it, it, it sounds weird when you're discussing medical stuff to be vague and have it generalized. I don't know. It sounds weird. Yes, yes. Better safe than sorry, right? That's right. You're a nice young man. I'm glad you're my doctor. Thank you. I'll do my best to get you uh, well again as soon as possible. See you later, okay? Just call out if you need anything. Will do. Thank you. All right. We got our name. I'm ready to rock this one. I don't know which one is... Um... Oh, Finley. Got a minute? Well, sure. What, what can I do for you? I know she's in good hands with you. That's all I can ask for. But well, we'll get Irma back on her feet. I know. I know. I'll, I'll head out then. I think I'll find a reopen uh, Gilbert's today. Don't take this personally, but I hate hospitals. The smell makes me anxious. Well, then I guess uh, we'd better catch up on Gilbert's next time. Sure, come by any time. I will. What? I'm going to watch him walk off. It won't let me move. It's weird. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Take care of the people I signed to ya. Then come and see me. Yeah, I gotcha. Again, they're sending me to the back of the room. Ms. Martin, how you feeling? I was up all night worrying again. I was thinking about my daughter argument yeah I'm the same when I can't sleep I'll spend the whole night turning problems over in my mind Your stomach any better at least oh yeah this is the girl with the ulcer my stomach ah you mentioned it it's feeling better yeah well, that's good to hear Your truck. I'm wondering if you do a playthrough where you just fill everything and and see I'm, gonna, I'm curious to see what would happen like are patients gonna start dying am I gonna get fired how does the game treat that um, I don't know. We'll see. Once the series is over, I may play it again. Uh, just to see how that, that works. Well, your trouble sleeping could be a side effect of your medication. I'll make some adjustments to your dosage. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Um, I need to bring the orange down. Or I need to bring the orange up. Blue down, red down, green down, pink is fine. So what do we got? Am I limited to four pills? Is that what that's saying? All right, so blue we need to reduce. So the first one seems obvious to me. I'll put that in there. Um, this would get me... I need a... I think I could do this, right? Oh, the problem is the pink. Okay, I can't add any red. The only interactions I can have with red is a negative. So I can't use this twice. I can only use it once. But I have to add pink. Wait, what do I do here? Oh, uh, am I allowed to redo this? I don't think I am. I may have messed up. Um, if I do this, I'll have to, I'll get, I'll lose all my red. Oh, you can get rid of it. All right. Pretty gumdrops. All right, let's start over. So the red is concerning. I'm going to have to do this. No way. Pink is good. I can only use one of these. 
But to give, I have to use this down here at least once. So let's do that. And let's do that. I'm not sure what I can do. Am I missing something? Because I have no way to add red, so I can only use one pill that has the red in it. Green is fine. Oh, wait a minute. need another one of these wait hold on I need two orange and two less blue is that it that is it I think what confused me there is anytime I have one of these selected it shows what it's going to apply and I it's better to come over here to see what it looks like total. Wait. 4x? I'm supposed to do it in 4x? You can't do this in 4x. It's got to be 5, right? I'm pretty sure it's got to be 5. Is it a B? Oh, I got an A. So wait, what was that 4x all about? I don't know. So you're about to get some new drugs to help you sleep. We'll get the stomach under control. Also under control. But to keep it that way, you need to avoid stress. Easier said than done. I know. No, I'm glad you said that. Maybe that's what I needed to hear. I've known it for a long time, but I really do need to look after myself more, you know? But how? Well, this pill you're about to take will send you to sleep for a little while. I'm sure you'll come up with new ideas and a fresh perspective when you wake up. Uh, thanks, Doctor. All right, we got two A's. I assume the pig is... Is the pig her her friend or was the turtle her friend i don't even know dr krakowski's that is i think it was a turtle wasn't it i don't know uh how are you today oh, pretty chill doc just bored to death I could barely sleep last night yeah i get that nights can be long when you're in the hospital ain't that the truth Oh, how's the cough? Much better. That's what I want to hear. I don't even remember what this guy had. I'll just give you a quick check over then, okay? Sure, you need to do anything? Yeah, just what you're doing right now, that's plenty. All right, let's look at your lungs. Don't you mean listen? <laughs> what? You're just going to listen to my lungs, right? Or are you going to cut me open? I don't want people looking at my lungs. No, oh, right. <laughs> yeah, sorry, just a turn of phrase. We'll be listening to your lungs, don't worry. <laughs> oh, this again. Oh, great. Great. I don't know what the top one is. Couldn't tell you how to do it. Oh, I get it now. I see what we're doing. Oh, I got a B. Poop. The game wasn't clear before. So basically, I got to use the arrow to move it to... Or I have to use WASD to move it to the line I want. Then press the down arrow to hit the, the target. I see now. Only a B. This guy's going to die, isn't he? What is it, Doc? The lungs haven't quite recovered fully yet. Is that bad? No, nothing to worry about. I think if you stay in bed all day and take it easy, we could send you home tomorrow. As long as I don't screw up. Okay. Everything okay? Yeah, I guess. I just wish I could have gone home today. Yeah, I get that. Believe me, it's better if we keep you in just for one more day. Yeah, maybe you're right. Doc, can I tell you something? Well, sure, what is it? cough was pretty bad last night kept me up all night it hurt a lot too it's good that you told me that larissa you know uh you know you could tell me anything right leave me i want to get uh, you out of here as soon as possible too hey doc thanks 
Any tips for how to kill time around here? Oh, we have a TV in a break room. If you feel like it, you can sit down there and make yourself comfortable. We've got tea and coffee, too. Ugh, coffee. That stuff's so bitter. But I'll take a look later. Thanks. All right, well, let me know if you need anything, okay? Just one more day. We can do it. Yeah. <laughs> so, is would she have gone home today if I got an A? Am I am I determining how, how bad their situation is? I don't know. I hope not. All right, Dr. Krakowski it is then. Let's see if we're going to get yelled at for getting a B. I'm done, Dr. Krakowski. Yeah, I can see that. All right, then let's see what you've got for me. <clears throat> Abba. Everything looks fine so far. Stay focused and don't get distracted while you work, okay? Okay. You need anything else? No, thank you, but, um... The new patient? What about her? She's very friendly. Is that so? Old Mystic Calma is very uh, popular in Porcupine. I've known her for a long time, too. Take good care of her, Finley. I'll be in charge of her treatment. Don't neglect the others just because you think Mr. Kalma is nice. Personal consideration should never get in the way of your work. Even if you absolutely hate a person. Always treat them to the best of your ability and understanding. Take a break now. In the meantime, I'll check out Ms. Uh, Mrs. DeCalma as well. Alright, well, thank you for placing your trust in me. Eh. What does that mean? I'm offended. Well, hey, Mia. Uh... Are you okay? Are you done for the day? I'm double done. Are you tired? Yeah, I'm having a hard time getting used to the shift work. Oh, tell me about it. What have you eaten today? I'm so hungry. No? Now you mention it, have you ever been to the cafeteria? Not to eat, but maybe today is a good day to change that. Wait, how long has she been working here? Well, I'd say it is. Let's do it. I didn't realize how hungry I was until you mentioned it. I can't think of anything else. That's what we call a remote diagnosis. Shall we go? Yeah, I think I've covered everything, right? I haven't missed anything. Hurry up! My stomach's practically roaring with hunger. Is, is that even medically possible? I must hate you at the library. Henley. Alright, alright, to the cafeteria.